Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I am working again in Rooms of Wonder and I thought we'd go ahead and finish off this little flower mandala that we've been starting on. So I did mention last time that we're going to do some salmon colours today with some of the flowers. I'll also, I decided to go ahead and use a little bit of white acrylic paint for that little keyhole in the center to make some little rays, light rays come out of that. If you don't have that, don't worry, you can probably use a white Posca pen or something like that, or some gouache. So let's get started. So I'm using my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils today. I've gone ahead and done a fair bit of this already, so I'll show you a few of each of these little circles and then you can go ahead and finish off the rest. So everything that I do now, just do that for the full circle and then before you then get started with the next colour. So I'm just going in with the beige red to start with and then we're gonna add in a few more, obviously some few more shadows. This one here is a little bit hard to see on camera just because it's quite light but you will see it when you are coloring for yourself. I am only using very light pressure here so you definitely don't have to push down very hard so even using the light pressure you'll still be able to see it when you do this for yourself. So I'll show you these first four flowers and then you can just go ahead and finish off the circle. So before you start with this next colour, I did accidentally pick up the wrong 
color a little bit later so I did the first sort of one and a half flowers with this Pompeian red and then I accidentally picked up the burnt carmine for the remainder of them so I just ended up doing all the rest of them with burnt carmine so you might as well just put down the Pompeian red and just go straight for the burnt carmine because it looked really nice anyway Now I don't want the, the end of these, these petals to be completely white so I'm just going to go over them with a bit of this cream. I like that little bit of a warm tone that this cream gives to it. It does show up more obviously if you're doing it on your own page than what it shows up on the camera but it looks really nice and it really complements that sort of salmon colour as well. I'll probably go over again with a bit more salmon and just blend this together a little bit more and I think we'll go in with I'm thinking the Caput Mortem Violet just for like towards the center like the bottom of these petals might just go in like a little bit darker there just to get that nice contrast 
I do hope you're enjoying this video and if you are I would love it if you take the time to give it a thumbs up. It's the cheapest and the easiest way to help me promote this video to a wider audience. And if you are new here I would love to have you subscribe and don't forget to hit the not notification bell to get notified whenever I post new content. I want to soften down these petals a little bit so I'm going to use my Sakura Jelly Roll. This is the 05 so it's a very very fine tip. Um, you could also use the 08 I think it's a little bit easier to, uh, to work with. This one here does dry very quickly so you kind of have to just keep moving it around 
um, otherwise it does tend to dry out and you have to give it a bit of a rub I tend to just give it a rub on the back of my hand or something like that and that seems to do the trick so I'm just sort of trying to soften up the edges here and um, just make it blend into into the picture a little bit more without those harsh lines if you don't have the sakura jelly rolls you could use a size 1m or 1mr posca pen or another white gel pen of some sort So for these smaller four petal flowers towards the center here, I'm going in really easy. So starting with the salmon and then I'm just going to go over just gradually a little bit darker towards the center. You can see I've pre-started on some of them. So I'm just showing you a few and then you can go ahead and finish the rest of the circle after each step.
so for these little six petal flowers I did end up going in with the earth green I was tossing up doing them white and like using the grey tones but I just felt like I wanted to have a tiny little bit of color to them so I went with the earth green and I'm just going to do them very very simply and then just have a little bit of shadow towards the center and then I think just like a green center like I've done with the other ones. So I'm kind of doing a similar thing for these outer flowers like I did with those six petal flowers and I'm just going in with the earth green and then I'm going to do a I'm going to do a slightly darker green on the inner side of the circle on these and then I'm going to go over with my Posca pen or the Sakura Jello roll just on the outer 
sort of black outline so I'm not doing the whole thing I just want a little bit of a highlight on the outer side and then a little bit darker on the inside So I decided to go with the cream tones for these little flowers in the centre here. I did also add in a little bit of salmon um, just towards the centre and then again I had my green, the, sort of the pollen centre of it. I did that in the same sort of green tone as well. And we're going to do have a bit of fun with that keyhole in a bit, I think. I think with these flowers here, I don't think I'll do any white outlines on these ones. I think I'll leave them the way they are because we have a little bit of darkness in that background. It's not looking too out of place. So and obviously we've left a few of the circles with all the black lines intact. It's just sort of the pinky sort of flowers, salmon kind of flowers that I've done the outlines away with. So I think that will work fine anyway. And these petals are so, they're quite narrow anyway, so I think if I went ahead and erased those, it'll be hard to actually see each of them. So we'll see, we'll see what we do. So I'm just going to go in with the salmon just around this circle, and then we're going to, almost time to get started with our keyhole. So I think, yeah, I'll do the salmon, I think, extra salmon on those petals, on those flowers as well just to tie them in with this little circle. I think that will work the best. So if I just go ahead, I think, and just add a little bit of that color to that and it should be fine. I'll go in, I think these little centers, they just need to darken up a little bit. So I'm just giving them a little bit of a shadow on the side there, just so that they're not so flat looking. But I'm trying to make these just as easy as possible. I don't want these flowers to be overly complicated. 
that is going to be quick and easy to do. It's one of those, I want this to be one of those pictures that you can kind of just complete without thinking too much, if that makes sense. I just want it to be easy, quick and enjoyable for one of those days where you just don't want to put too much thought into things. Alright, time for a little bit of acrylic paint. I've just got a little paintbrush. I've put a, my paintbrush is wet or just damp, and I've just put a little bit of white. This is a titanium white, and I'm just putting a little bit in the center now. And I've wiped off a bit of excess of my paintbrush, and I'm just going to make some lines coming out from the center like this. So I'm not thinking too much. <laughs> I'll just I just want to make a few little lines. I'll add a little bit more, I think, in the center, and then we'll just get a few more smaller lines out there, just so we've got a bit of shine. And I'm thinking I might when this goes a little bit dry, I might just add a little bit of um I've got this like a yellow. Um, a light yellow Posca pen. I might add a little bit of that to the top as well, I think. So I'm just adding a little bit more paint and then I'm going to go ahead, I think, and add a bit of yellow. And then I'm going to go in and just darken up some of the color, like directly next to these lines, just so those lines kind of stand out a little bit more. So I'll go and make those, that light cobalt turquoise um, on that little arch window or not window a little arched keyhole there I'll go in and just add a little bit of more I think the Prussian blue I think around there just to darken things up a bit but let's just get ahead and do that little yellow uh, pen so this is a like a very light yellow it's a 1m tip so I'm just adding a little bit down the center here, pulling it out, and then I'm just going to go over with my paintbrush, and I'm just going to try and just smear it out just a little bit. So that way it's not too dark, but it's a little bit warmer, not just white light. So this is my Prussian blue, I forgot to show it, but I'm just sort of darkening up a few areas, especially sort of right next to the white just to kind of make a little bit more contrast so that white can kind of shine out a little bit more rather than blending too much into the background.
So I'm nearly finished, I think, just getting these this little Prussian blue into these little areas and just darken things up. So we have that contrast and here we go. Now this is a way better color representation compared to the video. This is much better lighting and um, absolutely no editing or anything on this. So you can see it's way more of that kind of turquoisey background. I hope you enjoyed following along and watching this video with me. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you all have a colorful day and I will see you again next time.